A seesaw, a spanner turning a nut bolt or opening a door has something in common with statistics. Are you surprised to know this? Let us find out the commonality. Welcome to Learning Puri, a channel where you get tips and tutorials just like this one on a variety of topics like data science, business management, marketing and personal development. Before we unravel any mysteries about statistics, for all those viewers Viewing this channel for the first time, I am Shreesh. I've helped businesses to build great brands and resolve tricky business problems in functions like marketing, sales, and logistics to name a few. I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below and share this video with like-minded people. It helps support the channel immensely. All right, let's get going with the video. All right, moving on, what we saw at the beginning of the video are examples of an important concept in physics called moments. In physics, moments is a mathematical expression that involves the product of distance and some physical quantity like force or mass or any other quantity on the consideration. Well, not everything. Definitely not the last two creatures we saw just now. Moments are defined in relation to a fixed reference point and how these physical quantities like force and mass are arranged around that reference point. As a result, what net effect do they produce? So, when we are opening a door, there is a net force pushing the door in a particular direction and the reference point is the hinges that support the door. This reference point is called the fulcrum in physics. If you have understood this concept, then it won't be difficult to understand the movement of a seesaw and a spanner turning a nut bolt for which the fulcrum is the center of the seesaw and the nut bolt respectively. The net force, also called the torque, is a sum of the product of various forces acting at different distances from the reference point. Torque is also called the first moment of force. It is the first moment since the order of r or distance is 1. If it were 0, we would get the force itself which is referred to as the zero moment of force. Hmm, hold it. So why on earth are we discussing physics? And what does this have to do with statistics? Well, let us consider this data set. The origin or point 0 is the reference point. This data set is spread over on this number line. These are also the distances from the origin or point zero. To find the net effect of these data points, we use the concept of central tendency, which in this case is the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is five for this data set. So, we are effectively looking at the average distance represented by these points from the origin. We can mathematically write the same equation as summation xi minus 0 divided by n, where xi minus 0 is the distance from the origin and the product is 1 divided by n with each data point. This is because each data point has the same weightage or in other words, each data point is a single instance. Further, the power of each xi is 1. This is the first moment of statistics. The net effect is as good as assuming as if we had all the data points stacked up at 5 units. Let us assume that we did have another data set with all points stacked up at 5 units from the origin. How would you differentiate between these two data sets? Here is where we define the second moment or the second order moment of statistics. The second moment is defined as the average of the square of the distance of the data points from the origin. The second moment gives us the following figures for the two data sets. The squared distance for the first data set increases as against the second data set. This is because the data for the first data set 
is spread over the line and any distance more than 5 influences the outcome. Now, when we consider these larger distances, we, in a way, include the effect of 5 in the outcome, which is also the average. One way to nullify this effect of 5 is by borrowing the concept of shift of origin from mathematics. Here, we make 5 or the arithmetic mean as the origin. We will take the difference in distances from 5, the mean of the data set, instead of 0 or the origin. We end up with this new equation as average of the squared distance from the mean. We use the square of the distance so that the distances do not nullify each other to yield a net sum of 0. Again, comparing the outcome for the two data sets with a higher second order moment figure, it is abundantly clear that the first data set has more spread out in comparison with the second data set around the mean. So, in short, we see that the second moment highlights the dispersion or the spread of the data points around the mean on the line for the first data set. In other words, we were successful in making the second moment independent of the first moment by removing the effect of the first moment. We achieved this by shifting our frame of reference from the origin to that of the first moment or mean denoted by mu. In a way, we recalibrated the second moment. In doing so, we have defined the variance of the data set around the mean. Isn't this analogous to a seesaw where we identify how the data points balance out each other on either side of the fulcrum called the mean? In fact, another analogy will be to that of center of mass, which is the resultant or the net effect of all the mass distributed all over in a body. Center of mass can be the weight of the body under specific circumstances. If you wanted to know how to apply these concepts of mean and variance to real life scenarios, I would recommend you to look up these three videos. Well, a bit of self-promotion doesn't hurt. Okay. All right. If these two concepts are clear, let us move on to the higher order moments. In statistics, additionally, we define two more higher order moments. The first amongst the two other higher order moments is the third order moment, which is the cube of the distance from the origin. This also refers to the third order raw moment. The next is the fourth order moment or the fourth order raw moment. This is simply the distance from the origin raised to the fourth power. We can also apply the concept of shift of origin to these higher order moments as well. When we do that, we get the higher order moments with the shift of origin. All moments that do not use this concept are the raw or crude moments. All the moments that use this concept of shift of origin are the centered moments since they are centered around the arithmetic mean or the central tendency of the data set. However, this does not end here. The third and the fourth moments are related to two parameters in statistics, that is skewness and kurtosis respectively. Let us take a moment to observe the second moment carefully. We have seen earlier that the second moment is the variance which is denoted by sigma squared. Further, the standard deviation is the square root of variance denoted by sigma. We had earlier used the mean to shift the origin in the second order moment. In statistics, there is also the concept of transformation or standardization. We use this equation to standardize or normalize large values or obtain Z scores. If you see closely, the Z score stands for the number of standard deviations above or below the mean for any observed data points. If we use this concept 
in recomputing the third order what we get is this new equation now if you have noticed by using this equation we are trying to remove the effect of the second order moment that is variance in this equation this new equation is the standardized third moment of statistics which also gives us the skewness in the data note that skewness and kurtosis again are parameters that express the data distribution around the mean this resembles what we saw with the analogy of the seesaw earlier all right moving ahead by now you have already got a hang of what we are doing over here right we take a higher order moment and remove the effect of the earlier or the lower order moment so with the same thought we will now try to remove the effect of the third order moment from the fourth order moment right well that's where things change if you have seen this earlier video on kurtosis and skewness you will recall that we had calculated kurtosis for a data set with skewness equal to 0 i had mentioned that kurtosis is the only measure that differentiates data sets symmetrically distributed around the arithmetic mean that is when skewness is 0 or not present therefore we do not really need to remove any effect of the skewness from the equation to obtain kurtosis having said that let us see the equations for all the four moments in statistics note that from the second moment onwards we are using the terms like mu and sigma that represent population parameters for arithmetic mean and standard deviation we also know that in statistics we are often restricted to using parameters for a sample rather than the population because most often we do not have access to the population parameters so instead of the population mean mu we will use the sample mean x bar which is the estimate of the population mean to compute the second order moment what we get is the sample variance the sample variance is an estimate of the population variance the n minus 1 in the denominator is due to the loss of degrees of freedom when we estimate for the population let me know in the comments below if you want me to explain degrees of freedom in a separate video so don't bother about it for the time being proceeding on the same line of thought we can compute the third order moment using the sample variance like so note the n minus 1 and n minus 2 which are again a result of loss of degrees of freedom and the fourth moment is calculated like so again n minus 3 is a result of loss of one more degree of freedom in the estimation i have shared and explained both these equations in this earlier video note that many popular analytical softwares use these same equations to compute sample variance sample skewness and sample kurtosis I hope by now you have a good hang of what are moments in statistics and unraveled the mystery on why they are called moments. So the next time whenever someone refers to moment in statistics, remember what we discussed about the seesaw earlier. As always, remember to take a moment to stay healthy and stay peaceful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.